Hey guys! Today we are going to do our first product review ever. I know that some of you have been waiting for it for a long time and finally we're here. <laughs> I look so dorky! <laughs> this is awesome! If you are new to this channel, my name is Sophie. Six months ago we left Stockholm to go sail around the world and <laughs> ever since I've learned a thing or two about seasickness. mostly that I'm really prone to it. When I stumbled upon the boarding rings, I knew I had to try them. So with no further ado, we are going to review the boarding ring, aka the seasickness glasses. When you buy the boarding ring, they come in this beautiful little box and they are a device that you wear as a pair of glasses and that is supposed to annihilate seasickness and this is what the boarding ring says adult glasses are very large and can be used over ophthalmic glasses or sunglasses it is good to know that the usage is short if the glasses are worn as soon as a risk of seasickness is felt without waiting for any spasm of course that's what it says and overall, if the glasses are removed as soon as you feel good, troubles with space themselves from each other until the complete ability to stay in a mobile, meaning that you don't need it anymore. Also, this little pamphlet here states that boarding ring has been tested on a population of men and women and presented 95% of efficiency. That's it, guys. This was the device that was going to cure my seasickness and make my cruising life so much better and easier. Ha! My first contact with the boarding rings was in Cherbourg. We were at the chandlery and I found them at the chandlery and I looked at them. What are these? Turn to the side. I think, I think they're very stylish to begin with. <laughs> I feel, uh, I feel on, at the top of my femininity. So weird. I don't know, but like maybe it works. Maybe I should try that. They're called... No, I don't think you should try this. The boarding ring. <laughs> They're ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? It's being seasick. That's ridiculous. I think like... that they look fantastic. I think that they give me this like really sharp, edgy style that I look for whenever I buy any type of sailing equipment. You know, bright colors, bold cuts. I'm gonna get into fashion vlogging with this. I didn't immediately buy them and instead started doing a little bit of research. What I found is that one, they are really hard to get your hands on. I, I looked on the internet, they were sold out. So I looked everywhere online and I found them. One pair left in one store, an hour away from my hometown in Brittany. So, and on top of being really hard to find, those glasses, they're pretty expensive. On the website, they say that they retail for 90 euros. I don't remember if I paid 70 or 80 euros for those glasses. Now, this is what I did. Before crossing Biscay, I did not take any seasickness medicine. No Stugeron, no Mercalm, no Scopoderm, nothing. If I was gonna give those glasses a good shot, and I was not gonna miss my chances, the other thing that I did is that I made sure that we had crew. In case those glasses didn't work, I was not gonna put the boat in a situation where Ryan would have to single hand the boat while I would be recovering from seasickness. So we left, the first six hours of our crossing was great, and all of a sudden... This is the time where I would uh, take the helm and stare at the horizon and drink a little water and make myself a little food and try to calm myself down and breathe. 
But I'm just gonna try to see if those glasses can bring me back from the dead. That's not working well for you, eh? It's uh... I'm not, I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet. I like, this was a... This was a hard test. That was I mean, this was like, this. yeah, this was this was rough. I'm not sure that you are supposed to uh, expose yourself to like crazy, intense, rocky seas. Yeah, those waves from the beam, they are, uh, they're not friendly. Yeah. I mean, until, it's quite nice up here, though. Like, until like, we get into into the med, I think that's how it's going to be, baby. Yeah, I know. Choppy, and I have to abort. I have to abort mission because <laughs> otherwise this passage is gonna turn like hell for me. And we still have 48 hours to go. I am not giving up on those glasses. I will do other tests to complete the review. All right, that's it. <laughs> Those didn't work. I put a patch of scopoderm on and we finished our crossing of Biscay. I was feeling much better with scopoderm. I was really disappointed, but I am not the type of person to give up. We are now in Galicia and we are about to go on a day sail between one of the rias around La Coruña. It was a five hours passage. Now, again, I took no seasickness medicine, I made sure that I was well rested, that I had eaten, that I was well hydrated. We left the Ria. As soon as I started to feel the first sign of seasickness, being a little drowsy, being a little cranky, being a little nauseous, I went down, took my seasickness glasses and there we were. Let's uh, keep an eye on that dinghy up there too today. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'll be honest with you guys, if I was a bit seasick during our crossing of Biscay, that was nothing compared to the seasickness that I experienced in Galicia. It was, it was so bad. I did everything I could. I ate a little bit, I drank a little bit of water, I took the helm, looked at the horizon for an hour, hand steering the boat, looking at the horizon, nothing, like nothing to be done. And the thing is when my seasickness gets really bad, I get really sensitive to light and light makes me even worse. And with the reflection on this, of the sun in the sea, being out gets actually extremely uncomfortable for me. So yeah, after that I gave up. There is only so much nausea that I can inflict myself for the sake of science and YouTube and making, making reviews. So few final thoughts on the boarding rings. Maybe I am part of the 5% of their clinical trial that do not react well to the boarding ring. They claim that those glasses help a lot of people. So maybe they do. I don't know. They did not help me. Maybe my lifestyle is a little too extreme for those glasses. I feel really bad. I really I really wanted to tell the story of how, how good these were, how finally someone had solved the problem of seasickness for an entire generation of cruisers. Why did you not work glasses? I was rooting for you. I so wanted you to work. I will probably stick to Stuttgeron or Scopoderm when I go out sailing and there is a risk of me being seasick. Now, the good news is with time, I've learned to manage my seasickness. I know pretty much what situations can cause it. I know how to get better when I start feeling the first symptoms of motion sickness, but I will probably only use my boarding reins when I want to feel really stylish. If you want those boarding rings, they are available for pre-order. Maybe they work better for you than they work for me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will happily answer. 
and that's it for me today i had way too much fun doing this video like those those look so, so great okay guys thank you for watching if you like this video leave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel we always have a lot of fun around here well i will catch you next time bye